Half a year ago, I decided to start learning Unity. This is the result of six months of work. I started my computer science bachelor about one and a half years ago, which is heavily focused on Java. I spent most of my time messing around with physics and making games in core Java, and they were definitely not the best, but I did have a lot of fun making them, and I learned a lot about game development on the way. I wanted to take it to the next level, and that's when I found Unity. My Java experience set me up for a good start with Unity, since Unity primarily uses C Sharp and C Sharp is very similar to Java, and I wanted to make some sort of physics based game, and I've always been a huge fan of games like Human Fall Flat, Stick Fight the Game, Gang Beasts, and similar, so I wanted to create something inspired by those games. I started off learning about joints in Unity, so I could stitch together a ragdoll character, I threw together a quick script and soon enough our little hero could walk, jump and even throw his hands around. As bad as this is, it was a great start for me because I didn't really know how to use Unity and after learning more about the Unity engine I upgraded the script a bit more and he can now even grab onto things. I was quite happy with this uh, but I knew I could do better so I scrapped it and started over. I quickly got addicted to Unity and worked on it every single day. I learned a lot about scripts and C Sharp and Unity's physics, and eventually improved the Stickman controller script, making it much smoother to play and run around, because previously it felt a bit stiff, but now it works a lot better. Eventually I started adding more features, like a local multiplayer game mode, so I could try the game out with my friends. I added some weapons, jetpacks, grappling guns, and much more. At this point the game was pretty fun, but it did feel a bit empty and kind of boring at times, so after thinking about it for a bit I figured out what I wanted to do and in what direction I wanted to head with the game. I wanted to make several big cooperative maps that you can play through with your friends, where each map has its own story and theme. You can play through them without your friends too, but I think it will be best enjoyed playing with other people. And eventually I might add a battle mode on these maps, where you basically fight your friends, but I haven't really gotten that far yet. The first map was going to be a Wild West themed train chase. You and your friends have to run across the train, and when you make it to the end, you fight the boss. I started off by drawing the background art and giving it a parallax effect. Essentially that means just moving the different parts of the background relative to the camera, giving it a bit more of a realistic feel. Then I drew the train itself in Illustrator and I put it all together and made the train randomly generated. You could now run across the train, shooting enemies on the way and dodging obstacles, and when you reach the end you have to fight an evil cowboy boss. It took a lot of time putting together the boss and he isn't even perfect yet, but it works alright so far and I definitely learned a lot making this map and it took me way longer than I first anticipated. I think what took the most time was probably making all the art and implementing so many small details and fixing bugs. Uh, so that's something I'll keep in mind for the next map. It's now been about half a year and I've started working on the second map. The train map isn't 100% done, but I feel like I need to start on something new because I've learned so much and so many things have changed and I really just want to start fresh with something else and then maybe get back to the train map later. And you might have already seen clips of the new map on Discord or Twitter, uh, but the theme is basically set in a medieval age with swords, bows, knights, princesses and dragons, and that's probably a bit optimistic, but we'll see how far I make it. Um, but for now it looks alright, I've mainly been working on the art and trying to get the sword play to feel alright, which is actually surprisingly hard. But I'm gonna keep working to get it right, and if you want to follow along the journey and watch the development you can do so here on my YouTube channel where I try and post a devlog video every two weeks or so. I do have university 
and a part-time job, so there's not too much time to work, but I do it whenever I have time, and I hope you want to tag along. Learning Unity was a very fun process, but I think the biggest mistake I made was starting a massive project just two weeks into learning Unity. I definitely should have spent more time understanding Unity before starting the fundamentals of my game. I often find myself having to go back to old code and fix it, because it's just really bad and not up to my standards today. But nevertheless, I can't wait to see where I find myself half a year from now, and I hope you want to follow along. If you want to see screenshots and videos, or get in touch with me, then make sure to follow me on Twitter or join the Discord. And that's about it. I want to thank you very much for watching, and I truly hope you enjoyed this video.